Let's look how to calculate the charge and the PI of tyrosine. Tyrosine has three functional groups with three PKA indicated here. If you look at the numeric line, I have assigned here the 2.2, 9.1, and 10.5. If you look at 2.2, below 2.2, we expect the whole compound to be in its protonated form. So we have ammonium group in its protonated form. And we have here the carboxylic group in its protonated form as well. Above 2.2, we expect the carboxylic group to be deprotonated. So I have here the carboxylate ion. Above 9.1, we expect the ammonium group to be deprotonated. Where above 10.5, we expect the hydroxyl group to be deprotonated. O minus. And here we have the carboxylate ion. Now let's calculate the charge for each form. Here we have minus, and here we have another minus, and here we have zero. So the total charge is equal to minus 2. For this form, we have 1 minus 0 and another 0, which means the total charge is equal to minus 1. For this form, we have minus plus 1 and another 0. So plus with the minus, we have here total charge is equal to 0. So this form is a zeta ion form. For this one, we have plus and we have zero and another zero, which means the total charge is equal to plus one. Notice that the charge is decreasing from the left to right. We have here plus one, zero, minus one, then minus two. Now let's calculate the isoelectric point of tyrosine. The isoelectric point is the average of these two readings the 9.1 and 2.2. We chose these two because between them the zeta ion exists. Pi is equal to 2.2 plus 9.1 divided by 2 equal to 5.6. So the isoelectric point Pi is equal to 5.6 and the reason for choosing this two reading to take the average of the 2.2 and the 9.1 is because the zeta ion is actually exists between these two points. Now one thing to remember, the PKA value tells us that 50% of our molecule is deprotonated. That is why when we looked at that 2.2, we said that the whole molecule will be in its protonated form. Above 2.2, the carboxylic group will be deprotonated. Above 9.1, the ammonium group will be deprotonated and the hydroxyl will be deprotonated above PKA value equal to 10.5. So the PKA value is a value above which the functional group will be in its deprotonated form.